What's up, creator? It's good to see you. You know, I thought I had covered all the available functionality that the Move Transition plugin provides for OBS Studio. But I received an email from Carl from South Africa, and he said that he was watching some of my tutorials, and he uncovered another functionality that is super wicked cool, especially if you're a DJ or if you want to make a cool countdown for your live stream. So what it involves is the usage of a static image with color in it, and then you apply a audio filter, a move audio filter to it that changes a filter, which is the hue to the sound of your favorite song. Check out this demo, it is wicked cool. Especially pay attention to the floor. Check this out. So I hope you follow along with me. We're gonna have some fun creating a real easy tutorial so that you can recreate this for your live stream. Let's get some. Electrify your online presence with live, live streaming. streaming. If you're new to the channel, I welcome you. Thanks for stopping by. This channel is centered around technology that you can apply to your live stream to make your live stream super cool for your viewers. Obviously, we are touching on a lot of tech that's available from the OBS Studio world because it's so widely supported and has a massive community of contributors. So I'll, a lot of the material here in this channel is OBS Studio, but I will be in the future diving into some other programs that also help bring value to your live stream, okay? So if you like what you hear, subscribe and click the bell for new video notification. Now, I have a email. It is YouTube at bluefoxcreative.com. I'm not like the other creators who don't have time to respond. If you send me an email, I will respond because you took out the time to send me a message. I love to hear from you guys. There is a lot of stuff coming in and contributing to the show. If you provide value or if you have a suggestion that you'd like me to do in regards to a new tutorial, send me an email. I'll respond. I am absolutely accessible. So YouTube at bluefoxcreative.com. I'll talk to you after the show. Okay, let's dig into what we're doing here. Again, we're going to be changing the color of a static image so that it appears like it's kind of moving, but it's really just the color moving to your song. Let's get into the tutorial right now. Here we go. Okay, if you don't have the Move Transition plugin installed on your version of OBS Studio, it's really easy. Just go to Google, type in the word Move Transition OBS, and the first link that pops up in the Google results will be the link where you download the software. I will put a link in the description. So click the link. You're presented with the Move Transition page by Exeldro. There is a white download button in the upper right-hand corner, and you will see that for PC, there is an installer.zip. That means when you download it and you open it up, you'll get presented with an EXE file. And I'm telling you, this is proof of quality. Now, some people will chime in and say, well, no, it's not, man, it's not quality. That doesn't mean it's quality. Well, from my perspective, it is quality because you have to understand, Exeldro is building this software for free. He's putting in all the time to code it, troubleshoot it, and he provides revision time after time again. He loves what he's doing, and he's gone the extra mile to create an installer for you. So as a rule of thumb, if you see an exe file use it to install the software into obs because it makes it so much easier he's also got a package for mac and he's got a set of files for linux which is again he didn't have to do that stuff he's just making this available for everybody so click the download download the zip if you have a pc open it up you'll see an exe file click it let it do its installation make sure that you bring down obs and then start it up again and you are in business okay I want to start the tutorial by explaining to you where to go to get the image that you're going to modify. And I used to go to a website called Pixel Bay, which was free for commercial use stuff. It has a ton of photos and a ton of videos. It's a great place to start. But in regards to photos that are free for commercial use, I have now found a new website called freeimage.com because what it does is it shows you images from multiple websites including Pixel Bay. So what we need to do is first is to go into the uh, search bar here and select all so that we're going to see everything that they have available. Everything from vectors to bitmaps, right? And type in something like, I don't know, um, stage lighting maybe? Let's see. Let's see what we come up with. Okay. Here's a list of all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, look at that image right there. That would be perfect in my opinion because 
It shows all the colors in the spectrum, basically blue, yellow, green, and red. That means we're going to get a very wide expanse of color changing with the music, right? If this doesn't turn you on, you could do other searches like lasers. Let's see, laser. Let's see what comes up with it. Oh, man, look at all this stuff. So that would be a good one because it's got multiple colors. Uh, that one would be good here. That would be really good. That's a great one. So there's all kinds of great stuff that you can use. The bottom line is the more different colors in the photo, the more of a color change effect will occur. So have fun digging through free-images.com. Okay, let's open OBS Studio for the first time. And if you go into the scene transitions and you click the pull down and you see add move, that denotes that the move transition is up and running on your OBS Studio program. So let's go into the plus sign in the lower left-hand corner and create a new scene. We'll call it light show. Okay, hit okay. Then we'll click the plus sign in sources and we're gonna click add an image source. I'm gonna type in laser. I'm gonna, in my case, I have lights. So I'll just call it lights too. Hit okay. Go to browse and look for that photo that I have here, which is in downloads. And let's see if I can find it real quick. Here we go. Disco lights image, hit okay. And let's make sure that it fits the stage. And here's a little trick for you. If you right click and you go into transform, you'll notice that there is a fit to screen, which is control F. So if I hit control F on a PC, boop, it instantly fits it to the stage perfectly. Okay, the next step is to add a color correction filter to the image because the move transition audio filter is going to manipulate that parameter with the beat of your song. So let's go in there and add that. Without it, we won't be able to change the color of the photo. Go to Filters, click the plus sign in the lower left-hand corner, and select Color Correction. Hit OK. And you may sometimes see that the gamut is turned up. You want to make sure that you see nothing but black in the background. I'm assuming you have a photo that has a black background. The two parameters that will you know, have the largest impact on the color changing uh, naturally is the hue shift. So that's what you see in my demo. It's modifying this, but you can also sort of turn up the heat with saturation. So if the higher that goes, the more bright the colors get. And then when you modify the hue shift, the color changes even get more dramatic. So I just wanted to let you know that those are the two parameters that you may want to manipulate with the audio move filter. Okay, hit close. Okay, adding the song is super easy. Just click the plus sign under sources, go to media source. Type in anything you want to name the song. I'll just call it song demo here. Oop. Hit OK. Find the song that you want to play. In my case, I have a folder designated for all my music and video assets. I have an Epidemic Sound account here. Whoops, Sound Library, Epidemic Sound, Disco. Uh, what did I call it? What was it called? Here we go. Vincent Vega. Hit open. Hit OK. I'll want to loop it. Hit OK. Make sure the volume's turned down. Click the gear, go into advanced audio properties, and make sure that I can hear the song by clicking the monitor and output, hit close. All right, and you can adjust the volume here. Okay, now the fun begins. I've got the song demo muted right now so that we can talk and so that you can understand what's going on here. So with the song running, click the gear in audio mixer, right click it, go to filters, hit the plus sign under audio video filters, Select Audio Move, and you will not see this unless the Move Transition plugin has been installed on your OBS. Name it anything you want. I'm going to call it Hue Shifter. Hit OK. Select Peak True. Action is Setting. Source is going to be the image that you added as a media source. In this case, it's named Light 2 on my version of OBS. The filter is going to be color correction, and the setting is going to be hue shift. All right, hit close. Now you'll notice right away after closing that your image is all screwed up, and you're like, ah, oh, man, now what? Well, it's not that big of a deal. Just right click on your image source. In my case, it's light two. Go to filters, go back into the color correction, and turn down the gamma. For some reason, when you do this, the gamma gets really hiked up high and it gets things screwy. It's just the need to readjust it back into a normal state. All right, hit close. 
and you're in business. There it is. Check that out. Now you can do more filters on top of this. So for example, if I wanted to control, um, let's see here, let me go back to filters real quick. If you wanted to control the saturation here, you could add one to that as well, right? So you could do it and add two or three. You could make the contrast increase and decrease with the sound of your song. So it's purely up to you. Now, if you're interested in adding more super cool visual effects to your OBS live stream, there is a plugin called the OBS Shader Filter plugin. And what it does is it allows you to take these really cool little scripts that utilize the power of your graphics card to show these really neat effects that are super smooth moving and really neat and engaging for your live stream. So if you'd like to see a demonstration, I have a demonstration video here that will show you what they can do. And then below is a tutorial on how to install the filter and how to utilize it for your live stream. Regardless, I thank you very much for watching the tutorial. I will see you on the next one. Best wishes, stay strong and keep fighting. Yeah.